Is your novel a bit inadequate when it comes to word count? I will be the first person to tell you that what you do with those words is far more important than how many of them there are. Nevertheless, the total length of your story is an important consideration in several places. There are expectations in the publishing world and in your readership about how long a novel should be. The average target across most adult genres is between 80 and 100,000 words, although certain genres like romance tend to be a little shorter. A short novel can also be a sign that something is missing from the story. If you have a premise that feels like it should take up the length of the novel, but you're getting through it in 40,000 words, that could mean you are lacking detail in certain areas or maybe not expositing enough. Whatever the reason that your novel has ended up shorter than you'd like, there are several ways to go about lengthening it, and that's what we're talking about today. So with that, here are three ways to up your novel's word count. Method number one, replace telling with showing. Every time I've waded into the sea of people telling you to show rather than tell, you've heard me mention that one of the benefits of telling is that it requires fewer words. Since showing relies on relating information through emotional responses and by having the reader witness character actions to get across whatever it is you're trying to get across, it generally takes more words. This results in having to write scenes that are way longer than if you had just told the reader the information. You can tell the reader that a character is tired to the point of exhaustion, or you can write a scene showing them yawning or having trouble focusing or falling asleep in their oatmeal. The latter method is going to take more words, but it will be showing the information to the reader instead of just telling it to them. So go through your novel and look for simple statements of fact or places where you're relating character change through telling and see if these can be replaced. If you can convert this information into an engaging scene, then not only will you be lengthening the novel, but you'll likely be improving the quality of the story as well. Method number two to lengthen a novel, write more of the stuff that you normally avoid writing. We all have specific parts of the story that we enjoy writing. Maybe you really like to write dialogue, or really like to write descriptions of the setting, maybe you really like to write exposition. At the same time, there are usually elements of the story that we don't enjoy writing, where we perhaps are more terse than we ought to be. Maybe you can't stand writing action scenes, or you never bother to describe your characters, or you never get the reader inside a character's head with their thoughts. Any good story is going to be a balance of different types of narrative. Action, dialogue, description, exposition all need to be woven together and used in the right places to keep the reader engaged. If you are routinely skipping one of these elements or not giving it enough page time, not only is your story likely ending up shorter than it could be, but you also might have a narrative that's out of balance. For example, if you write a lot of dialogue without description and action around it, not only will the scene end up shorter than it maybe should be, but you'll be getting dangerously close to a white room situation. Of course, no matter what you do, you should always make sure it doesn't come at the expense of quality. Method number three for lengthening a novel. Decide if you should actually lengthen it. There is always the possibility that your story is a perfectly fine length right now. The 80 to 100k word number that everyone or most people quote is generally the length that a novel would fall into, but not every story needs that number of words, and this length, while reasonably standard, is, when you get right down to it, pretty much just arbitrary. You'll notice on this list I've specifically not talked about adding a subplot or adding more scenes to the main arc of a story. The reason is that while these are ways to lengthen a story, they might make the story longer than it needs to be. If you aren't missing anything from your writing, if people can read through the story without getting confused and it doesn't feel like it moves too fast, then the story might be a good length as it is. You can always make it longer by adding a subplot or adding more scenes, but if it's effective at its current length, you have to ask yourself if you want to risk that. Yes, getting it into that 80 to 100,000 word range might increase your odds at getting published and things like that, but that's a trade-off that you have to make between the quality of your story and its market potential. 
Another consideration is how much the story needs to be lengthened. It's much easier to move something from, say, 70 or 75,000 words to over 80,000 words than it is to move something from 10,000 words to 80,000 words. Ultimately, what it comes down to is you need to make decisions around lengthening the story if they work to actually improve it. Lengthen a story by filling in the holes and the weak points. Don't lengthen a story just for the sake of making it longer. You can make a story longer by changing it, but making it longer doesn't necessarily make it better. Just like I hope this video made you better at the thing you were hoping this video would make you better at. I wish that sentence was a little better. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the advice in it useful. If you want to see more stuff like this, you can check out all my other writing advice related videos and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and occasionally on Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.